Oh my god, I figured it out. Hi! <laughs> Are you ready? I'm Melanie. And I'm Mackenzie. I'm Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> I go to University of Miami in Coral Gables, Florida. I go to Binghamton University. You're, I go um, to USC Fight On, everyone. I can't with the light, oh. TV light. We're home for Christmas break. And I thought that we would do a little comparison between colleges. Oh, just Fight for reference, everyone. me and Mackenzie <laughs> both got into both U Miami and USC. She was springing it though. Just I yeah, I did get it in spring, but it's okay. And then we I didn't uh, apply. We split off. So one, talk about sporting events. So let's talk about football. Binghamton doesn't have any football, no, you're wondering. they don't. They're undefeated yeah. since they started because they don't have a football team. But Miami plays um, in Hard Rock Stadium, which is in Miami Garden. So that's yeah. where the Dolphins play. So it's kind of annoying um, to get up there for all the games. But it's like a 45-minute drive, but it's okay because it's at like an NFL legit stadium. USC plays at the Los Angeles Coliseum where the Olympics are held. And it's literally a two-minute walk from stadium, so that's yeah, that's is. nice. Okay, let's talk about- What about tailgating? Oh, yeah. Do you guys tailgate on campus? We tailgate at the frats. <laughs> Frat row is like probably a 30-second walk from the freshman dorm, so that's where everyone tailgates, and then we get on the bus and go to the stadium. For USC, um, we didn't like know what to do the first um, tailgate, because none of us had ever been to a college tailgate and like we woke up and there were like six year olds tailgating like on like literally outside of our dorm because like USC is in the middle of the city so there's nowhere to there's no like big yards to tailgate on so we literally people just tailgate on like the streets that we walk to like school from and then also on frat rope that's where like all the party tailgates are yeah so another next thing is like spirit at the football games everyone goes like this at the same times at the same time so it's really creepy like <laughs> <laughs> so in Miami, um, we have this part of the football game where um, like video plays of Sebastian do this like big song when the beat drops, they like um, the fire extinguishers go off like in the student section. USC, this is at the beginning of every game, the tre we have like a Trojan because we are the Trojans. Um, he like rides around on his white stallion around the uh, stadium and then he goes to the middle of the stadium and stabs, stabs the ground <laughs> with a sword and everyone goes crazy. Um, another thing is at the beginning of the games, um, Bingham, do they do anything like no. this at <laughs> No, because <laughs> sports aren't a big thing at all at Binghamton, so yeah. we don't even have any of that. I wish we did that, that'd be cool. So at Miami, at the beginning of the football games, um, they have these huge two, um, they're like these big red rectangular like flags and in the middle there's a um there's a black square and it's to symbolize i guess like i don't even know if it was like a like a military thing but to symbolize to tell boats that a hurricane was coming so like you cannot do that Let's talk about the nightlife. So Miami is good and bad in the sense that we have on-campus frats, on-campus frats, but a lot of them don't have any events or a lot of their like night parties at their houses. They have them like a lot of times at like off-campus houses where they have like pool parties and stuff, but primarily just like the tailgates and then some parties they'll have like at night at so their does houses. A lot of people go to clubs. Um, there's a lot of clubs in Miami, which are in Wynwood. I feel like clubs get so old after and a while. No, they're my favorite. We no. don't really. Me and my yeah. friends don't go to frats anymore. If it's a guy, it kind of sucks because um, a lot of the clubs are 18 for girls and 21 for guys. So 
That's like really? a big thing in Miami, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you obviously know this. Like, Binghamton's like so relaxed. Like, I've never been to a place that like accepts literally everybody. <laughs> like, yeah. regardless of what you look like, they'll just accept you because they obviously want people to go to their bars. Do you guys have to pay to get into bars? Yeah. We don't. We don't. But um, USC is a huge frat party, uh, frat school. So there's literally frat parties Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So do you have to be? And there's like five a night. So you it's have like to first be of all, like a good and bad. Life? No, you didn't. You, as long as you're a girl, you can get in. Boys, it is so hard to get in unless you know a brother in the frat. It's like that's impossible. Yeah, that's, that's or they make true. you pay like tailgates. No, yeah, like, okay. like you're they just not. If you're a boy, you're you. not getting in. Wow. Unless you know someone in the frat, it's really hard to get in. It's really that's fun. Like there's a lot of parties, but then it's like. Which one do I go to? I guess which shouldn't really be that stressful, but it is really stressful. Um, what oh, else? People go. So <laughs> people go downtown to LA a lot, like the big, like really popular clubs, and like people see celebrities all the time. That's cool. But we don't go to those clubs, so we yeah, facts. Like, we don't. There's like we live. go to like low key clubs. Yeah, so do we. We go to like I'm not even gonna say, but like the big clubs in Miami where like Drake will go and um, Travis yeah. Scott like when they come, they go to like Live and Eleven I think. Their charges are like over a hundred dollars. So really, yeah, yeah, no, like my friends have gone to party, gone to clubs, and like a lot of people I knew went to Chantel Jeffries. You know who that is? Yeah. Like her birthday party, and they saw Kylie Jenner. Like yeah, we have like the bars um, of Bing are crap. <laughs> the, no, they're really so, fun. No, they're, they're, they're really, really no, fun. they're really really fun. But they're like gross and dirty. One good thing about is that about is really Los true. Angeles or going to school in any big city, like say you go to school in New York, um, is that there's so much variety in what you can do. Like you can go to really crappy bars, you can go to ridiculously fancy bars, there's so much you can do. Or you cannot go to bars at all and do See, whatever else. Miami's you want. really spread out, so there's clubs and stuff on South Beach, but in my experience a lot of students don't end up going there. Um, but like where everyone really goes out is Wynwood if they're going to clubs because there's a lot in like walking distance yeah. but getting there is kind of annoying like we have a metro but i have problems with the, the transportation at the school it and, like it's really bad like it's we have a one metro that, that goes like linear yeah that's what we and have transportation in la is awful no it's to, worse in miami i've been to for us have you been to miami yes i have but, but on the metros and stuff no but for us being yeah. from new york la is a lot like, better transportation yeah new york is, is the best if you want to go to school in new york, in new york. You and never you need get a car. to you leave in New York and you're like, what in the? How do people like get around? Because everyone that's drives. That's why the traffic's so bad in Miami yeah. and in LA. So everyone drives, and USC has free lifts for yeah, we don't their students in like a two or three mile radius around the campus. USC's it's a lot also of money. in like a much worse area. USC's in awful than U Miami, so that's yeah. something to keep in mind. Makes the, oh, the academics started in Miami as a neuroscience major and I'm gonna switch to like public health and sports administration But I'm like, literally everywhere, but Miami has a really 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 good pre-med program. It's called HPM um, I highly recommend that you apply for it when you're applying to the school I think the application close closes in January, but it gives you a huge advantage to medical school I have a lot of friends in it. Um, we also had to have these things called um HHMI labs, which are like original research labs, which are cool. Um, and then we also have this program called PRISM, which I was in. It's basically like the honors college of the um, arts and sciences college, which has like smaller classes for science majors, pretty much, which is it's a two year program. And also another thing I really, really, really like about Miami is that it's really easy to switch between majors and you know you can take a marketing class if you're a pre-med or if you're in the school of education it's really easy to cross or i know it's yeah like, you can't do that at bang yeah so it's like so hard some majors you have to apply to but like school wise i'm pretty sure that we don't have to do that um i know people who have changed their majors five times and like a pretty normal thing um usc has like a bunch of different schools right now i'm double majoring in global studies and and uh Oh, you can double studies and planning. You can like double major and dual degree. At yeah, school. so that's across schools. That's in the pub school yeah. of public policy and the school of letters, arts, and sciences. But USC is very really known for their film school, their dance school, and their um, communication school, and also their business school. So those those schools are sometimes harder to get into. Well, the film school it's a different story, but like the business school and the communication school are sometimes harder to transfer into just because of how competitive they are.
Yeah. Um, we have a really, really good sciences, like our marine science. We have a campus on Key Biscayne that's literally on the beach. Um, we also have a wide range of research. So I know a lot of my friends are going to start doing research at the medical campus. So they'll have to like get on the metro and commute there, which is annoying, but um, it's a really good pre-med school. Like it's a really, really, really good pre-med school. That's like why I originally went and I showed it like wasn't for me. But yeah, so I feel like once you figure out what you want to do in college, that'll also really depend on where you go to school because USC isn't known for pre-med at all, but you know. You can do whatever. You can you could do communications at U Miami. Like you could do pre-med at USC. Like it it really doesn't matter. It's like what you do with it and the connections that you make. But another thing I want to say is like Miami is definitely not known for engineering. So if you are looking to go engineering, go engineering USC. Miami is like not yeah. the best. Also, really quick, um, <laughs> even though USC is a big school, um, I this semester I did not have a class over thirty. Oh, I did. So didn't. really? Yeah, I did not have one class with. I had two lectures. Yeah, but you also aren't in people on lecture. Them. You're not in like intro chem and stuff. Yeah. No, so yeah, so next it semester on, it definitely depends next on the Next semester major. I have um, I have lectures, but my biggest one is one hundred fifty. So like versus like a Penn State that has like. 500 600 kids. 600 kids in one class. They also, I'm sure they have them in other big schools like that. They have like yeah, 25 plus. Yeah. Is that um, they probably have discussion periods yeah, where they have like them break down information. Have, yeah. We also have we those. So do that. one we year discussion, year, one anything. year, um, no, see they really do stuff in their discussions. Like the discussion is more important than the actual lecture. Oh yeah, no, not So ours. one, the lecture isn't that big at USC, but then also you get a really good discussion with the TA, so that's something to think about as well. Another good thing I think all of our schools did um, is we all did dual enrollment in high school, and all three of our schools took our own dual enrollment no. credits. USC yes, doesn't care if you do. do dual I thought enrollment. that you got really? credits. Nope. nope. You didn't get any. Nope. You I took so it. many credits. I know, though. and I paid for them for no reason because they say. If wow. you didn't take it out of college, you thought that over the summer you would. I know. Yeah. If you didn't take it at a college, yeah. at, then they don't care. No, yeah, I think it's really important that when you sign up for like dual enrollment credits, that you make sure that like the schools you're applying to accept them. Yeah, and I shouldn't have because I knew I wanted to go to a. See, Miami took all, State, all of mine. my credits after I just finished my first semester of my freshman year, and credit wise, I'm a junior. And I could graduate a year early if I didn't want a double major. So, I mean, if you have a lot of dual enrollment, definitely take that into consideration because, you know, a full year at Miami is, is like, I think over $65,000. So if you can get a year out of the way by like doing stuff in high school, that's so easy. I mean, I got out of every single prereq. I got out of my language. I got out of my English. Well, that was from AP, but they would have taken like dual enrollment credits. And I have USC a lot of really friends values that values AP that. credits. Like See, Miami, you, it doesn't, like, I would take If you get a 4 or 5 on your AP, um, you get the credit for the class, and then also you get to register before other people. Like, the more AP credits, the more beneficial it is. That's also us. The classes earlier. If you have more, the more credits that you yeah. have, the better housing that you get. Um, you have oh, first pick. Like you have first pick for classes. Like, you get, it's just, it's, take as many, like, AP for if you're trying to go to like a school like USC, take a lot of APs. But I, I have friends who like go to St. Joseph's, which like isn't that highly ranked um, in terms of like college, whatever US news. But they didn't even take dual enrollment. So anything yeah. else to add? What's your favorite part um, of USC? My favorite part of USC is the campus and uh, the fact that there's people from everywhere. And what's your least favorite part? Um, my least favorite part about USC is probably the food. the food. Yeah, I was gonna say probably it's location in Los Angeles because it's just like there's nothing close. Santa Monica's not close, but nothing's close. So block me. Oh, there it's fine. <laughs> um, my favorite part of Bang. I don't know. My feet are asleep. Oh, oh so okay. Come <laughs> no, yeah, my least favorite is definitely the weather. I hate it. It's so cold all the time. My favorite part. I want to say. I don't know. Maybe like the nightlife. I really have a great time with my friends. And like the academics so are like pretty good too. Like obviously it's not like an Ivy school or anything. But I, you like you can tell when you go there and you can tell by like the professors that they like take what they do really seriously and stuff. Yeah. So my oh. favorite part. Also, <laughs> oh my wait, sorry. Also wait, one more thing is the cost. Can I please stand up really quick because my foot. My oh my feet. god. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> go. You can do it. <laughs> 
<laughs> so my favorite part of Miami is definitely um, a big thing is the academics. So being able to switch and take um, classes across across colleges. Um, the school spirit, the football games, um, yeah, the weather. It's very humid though. I would say positive about Bing is definitely the price too. Yeah. It's so cheap. Oh yeah. You I mean, it's still expensive, but it's so cheap compared, compared to like the big private schools. schools. Yeah. Um, and my least favorite part about Miami is transportation and the food. It's really bad. Like me. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know when your foot falls it. asleep. Listen, know when your foot falls asleep, and then it gets really tingly after. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Mackenzie. <laughs> Bye. Please don't um, like. Hard. Give this video Bye, a big everyone. thumbs up. If you want to see any on. more videos, I have a lot of friends that go to big yeah. name colleges, so definitely let me know. Uh, I hope you enjoy first. this video. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Guys, I'm so good. Go! Oh my god, I can't do it. I can't stand up. Ow! Stand up.